first here at 5 o'clock, the ATF says a man is in custody accused of having a homemade explosive device at the Hard Rock Casino. Investigators say they have surveillance video of the bags with the device being left under a set of stairs at the casino. News on 6's Regan Ledbetter is live with more on the investigation. Regan? Craig and Lori, ATF agents tell me this could have been deadly if it wasn't for the quick work by Cherokee Marshals and security. They found the device, they secured it, and within four hours, Zachary Schmidt was arrested. ATF agents say Zachary Schmidt told them he found the explosive device in a dumpster, then had it in his bag when he got a ride to the casino. Security at the Hard Rock saw the unattended bag and took it to a safe place, and when they opened it, they found the explosive device. This could have been a catastrophic event. Yeah, if it wasn't for the quick thinking of, of Cherokee Nation security, uh, it could have been disastrous. It's just a testament to, to their professionalism. Investigators say surveillance video at the casino helped them identify Schmidt as the suspect, and hours later, they arrested him at a convenience store down the street. They say Schmidt told them he thought the device was a firework. The ATF says they were able to keep people safe because of the teamwork of several agencies, including OHP, Cherokee Marshals, Tulsa Police, Catoosa Police, and Rogers County deputies. And everybody just went out and did their job, almost a one team, one fight mantra, and was able to identify the gentleman really quickly. Uh, and then not just identifying, but then finding. This is the second explosive device found in the last week in green country, after one was found outside of Bartlesville Walgreens last week. It is alarming. You know, people uh, take for granted uh, the power and danger of explosives, and we were always cautioning that these aren't fireworks, uh, that these are, when you start manipulating uh, even a consumer firework, you are putting yourself in danger, you're putting other people in danger. Now, ATF agents are still looking for the suspect in that Bartlesville case. As for this case, Schmidt is currently in the Rogers County Jail for possession of an explosive device. Live in Catoosa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.